Hi, Tab here from FreeFly, and today we're going to talk about Auto-Tune and how it can reliably and consistently help you achieve optimal tuning with your Movi. Uh, the first point we need to discuss is the Auto-Tune percentage. Any Movi that's equipped with a full cage, you're going to want to set this to 70%. The original M10 without a full cage, you'll want to set that to 50% for, for optimal tuning. So once we've set that, you'll go into System, hit the Auto-Tune button, on an M15, one important point is we need to swing the handlebars out of the way uh, forward about 20 degrees so that the pan has room to swing to 90 degrees to do the pan tuning. So we'll confirm start auto-tune. The Mobi will go through a variety of poses and maneuvers to figure out exactly the optimal stiffness settings. It's got a little uh, indicator which shows the progress. It doesn't look like the Mobi's doing much during the auto-tune uh, process, but it's doing tiny little micro adjustments and then testing those settings to see how they're performing. All right, once the auto-tune process is complete, the, the indicator uh, window will close and we'll be back to the regular app. Um, you can confirm the pan roll and tilt stiffness settings that the auto-tuning algorithm was able to achieve. Um, and then typically I will feel each axis to make sure that the tuning feels robust and damped. So that's a brief overview on how Auto-Tune might be useful in your workflow and achieve optimal stiffness settings in a very quick and repeatable manner. I uh, hope this was helpful. Thanks.